guys, I am Crystal Sky, and today, um, let <laughs> me move the comments out of the way for a minute. Today, I'm going to be taking all of my old sketchbooks and my old planners and my old notebooks. I'm going to be cutting out my, where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm going to be using this scary knife to cut out characters that I find in here and I'm going to put them in this binder that is under here. So I have a lot of characters over um, over the, the couple of years and these are old sketchbooks that are going to get archived. I have a, f a bunch of filing cabinets, that's where they get archived. But um, the characters kind of don't come with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all my old sketchbooks, this is just a tiny portion. <laughs> of old sketchbooks. I'm going to cut them out and put them in this binder to have a character reference uh, binder. So uh, I'm going to snap and then there's going to be the finished product. Ready? Alright, so we're here. We're back. <laughs> that took me about three hours. I'm so tired. Okay, so let's go into this master character book here. Uh, this is just a binder. I've had this for many, many years. And uh, let's get into it. So, this is a Wendigo and a little fire spirit that I drew in math class. They are, these are just like little stuff that I cut out from a notebook while I was in class, specifically a math notebook. So, all the little trimmings are in there. So, I actually put them in um, order of year. So, we're starting out with 2016. Then we'll go to 17, 18, and I don't have anything in here for 19. It's a little cat I drew. And then, can you guys see if I flip it all the way over? Yeah. This is actually the only thing that I didn't put in order. These are the benchmark sketches. I have the 2018 one in here too, but this is 2016, this is 2017. But the 2018 one is in here too. That girl's just pretty. She doesn't really have a story that one. <laughs> um, this is the original sketch for Flynn which is the uh, cat character that I have that wears a scarf. His scarf is not present in this little picture. Um, this is, I believe I called her Annabelle, but again, this was 2016, so it's a little hard to remember. She's really pretty. <laughs> uh, this is Camilla. She's a police officer. Um, all of these characters' feet are really small because <laughs> 2016. Um, and then I have the, this uh, magic girl. Like a, a magic trick girl. Some of these don't have names. I usually come up with the stories before I come up with the names. So if they have a little bit of story behind them, I'll tell their, whatever little bit of story they have. This was interesting. I found this in an older sketchbook. So this is older than 2016. Um, this is a frozen girl, frozen in happiness. And I wrote this little thing here. And I drew this little girl. This was from a very long time ago. Probably the first thing I drew. Um, and then we have this little witch. She's got little crazy colored socks. Uh, this is Master Naname, you guys. If you've been on my channel, you know Naname. Um, she's one of my OC main characters. This was before she kind of became the OC main character in 2017. So that's where we're into 2017 already. This character is really fun. Um, I already have a beginning. Some storyboards are in here as well. Storyboards that go with characters. Um, this particular character, if I remember correctly, has a power that is like a nanotech type of power. There are multiple AIs, female and male. And he can switch between female and male based on offense or defense. Um, this is like a storyboard. This, his AI is kind of based off of um, Magical Girl Nanaha, I believe, but it is kind of evolved on from that. And uh, in this scene, he's getting attacked and doesn't want to fight, but he activates it anyway to protect himself. And that's the character design for him. I really like him. He looks cool. He doesn't have a name. Again, he's got this whole story, and his powers are ironed out, and he's got even got like a storyboard, and he just doesn't have a name. Uh, this is Nanami as well, with wings. She's really pretty in that picture. Uh, da -da. This is the, if you guys remember a long time ago, most of these I'm pretty sure you guys have seen on the channel. But this is the um, secretary who is drawing uh, fan art, anime fan art, and 
People think she's very professional because she has glasses and she looks very professional. Uh, this is Ava, the chick reporter. I love this design, actually. <laughs> Oh, I love that design. Uh, and then we've got some Sammy. He is also from uh, Naname's story. This is an interesting story. This is a elderly female character that I based. I based this actually off my own grandmother, and her. The story that I came up for for this particular elderly couple is an elderly couple. They sell their house and they buy a motorhome and they go on adventures. So it's going to be like a magical adventure, but instead of having like kids or something like that, the main characters are two elderly people that are just kind of, you know, fun. Let me, um, let me move you guys really quick. It's kind of, the glare is driving me nuts. I moved the camera several times to try and get a better angle, but because this is so shiny, it just kind of is shiny. Anyway. This tripod leg is kind of putting glare over it so it doesn't glare. Uh, this is one of the first Reaper stuff. This is some Reaper um, swordboards. It's the little ghost Reaper character. Reaper looking sad. He's so cute. Um, this is Indigo, the, uh, the girl who grew up in the middle of a forest with nobody to take care of her. Drew a lot of Indigo. Um, and then we've got uh, Roller Wind Revolution, which... This was in 2017. This is um, the main character. And it's essentially a rollerblade with a magical spin type of thing called Rollerwind. This is a storyboard about a girl who falls into an alternate dimension. And there's a bunch of storyboards from there. She falls into this alternate dimension, but she's been there before. Um, she comes out. And it's just kind of her being really, really sad. Because everybody in the alternate universe was dead. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, that storyboard didn't get completed. Um, this is one of the original K designs. So K is Naname from Naname's story. We've got Naname in uh, K, which I changed to... I changed him to Ray, And then I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep that name. So... Uh, this girl is really fun. Her name is Starlight. She is a superhero. I've got little baby Starlight over here and different notes on her design. Um, she's got different powers. She wears like this cool futuristic mask. She's got levitation um, and all the powers in their eyes. That's the superhero type of thing. This is um, actually, oh, I skipped the page. I didn't mean it. Well. This is actually the uh, same girl from the Vegemar in 2016 and 2017 and 2018. The little fairy in a different pose. So, yeah. I have her in a in a, another pose as well. In the uh, benchmark pose. This is Elise. She, uh, her power... Uh, she can pretty much control everything around her. Um, it's hearing based. When she can't hear things. I believe someone commented and said that was a cool power. When she can't hear things, she can control them. But she has to be able to not hear. So, like, if she didn't have... If she took her headphones off, she wouldn't be able to use her power. But I'm sure I went into more detail when I first showed this character. This is more K designs. Uh, more of his outfit. These are all the characters from Naname's Gift. Um, that's the young uncle... Ryu, which is Naname's brother, Naname, Baby Ryu, Kei, Sammy, and um, another character who I have yet to name. Again, another, this is um, the benchmark sketch in like the same type of pose. But of course, it's it's very different, but this is the 2018 one. Let me just show you. So I'm from this, this, to this in three years, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got a whole Sammy page here. This is a uh, timeline based on all the three stories. Um, Malice's story is actually first now, so this is a way, way far back um, character timeline for the three stories. Oops. Oh no, the character sheet. Um, so this is a character reference sheet for Young Ryu, Naname, K, Sammy, and the uncle. Um, another picture of Naname. This is Little Reaps and some of his... This is actually a poem that his whole entire story is based off of. I think I read it at one point, but I'm not going to read it here. And these are some of the storyboards. And then we have Malos from uh, the Malos story. Over here. She's kind of hard to see. There we go. 
And then we have number nine from the Nine Masks. And then we have all the different characters, Nine, Naname, and Malos, all lined up. A picture of Sammy down here. Now these are the Inktober characters that I did for this year. Um, this is Emma and Jen. You guys, if you've seen my Inktober videos, there are a lot of them. <laughs> but go back to October and they all have stories and stuff about them. This is Lyra, the female detective. I'm not very good with coming up with names, but I'm really good with coming up with stories. That's about it. Uh, we've got the leader of the werewolf pack over here. We've got Max. Um, we've got a superhero character. We've got this young prince. I really like his story. I think I'm going to like do some storyboards on that story. Uh, we've got the human leader of the forest. Now, these are not all of the Inktober characters. Some of them I didn't like enough to put in here. So, This is the Magic vs. ESP story. Phoenix, the street kid. Love him. Flynn and the female cat for Flynn. Um, Flynn is in the back here because his pages didn't fit. So, This is um, the young boy and his mother traveling around the world. This is the monster apartments, the super high-tech monster apartments. This is Ark. I love her, the eternal singer. Yeah, right there, the eternal singer. I really like the way her dress came out, character design wise. The sun and the moon, kind of like a Romeo and Juliet story. Emma, the maestro of nature. Um, the vintage woman. This is um, Shu and Sammy together. These are um, the two partners. I freaking love these characters. <laughs> Shu and Sammy are probably my two favorite characters, I'd say. But I also love Naname and Kay. I can't decide. Guys, I can't decide. They're all my children. I've created them. And we've got Kay and Naname. You know, cute. Um, cello? I don't remember if I pronounced it cello or cello. I might pronounce it cello because I like weird names. She's the wind magic user. We've got some sort of weird magician here. He's he uses wooden short daggers. He looks harmless. Um, his weapons are special, and he he's not wearing any shoes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about you, dude, but you exist. This was actually just from this character, the wind magic user. He's just kind of on the back of her page. Um, cannery, the... Oh my god, Cannery? <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even... Uh, the Dying Sonicers. Jury, this is Malice's best friend. Suyu, she is um, the head of Malice's family. Irie, the audio-eating demon. She looks really cool. Malice again. It was in March. Clarissa, Malice's mother. A whole page for reaps and little his little emotions and we've got tom for the reaps comic we've got naname in a fairy version and then ryu um this is a giant girl who she's picking up a doll here she's very big i imagine that she goes around her country um just kind of enjoying herself and helping out others she's very kind um, and then we got this girl who plants are pretty much growing out of her blinds and stuff. She had a, a bit more of a story and I changed it because I didn't like it. Um, so this is another K, but this is uh, 2017, not 2018. And then this is a newer version of K, but, um, like really new. I don't know if you guys have seen that yet. Then we've got more Malos, Malos in like her day outfit. We've got more Naname. Naname is by far my most developed dosi, definitely. More Naname. Naname in like a formal dress. This is um, this was actually not Naname. This is someone from uh, Malos's story, who I have yet to identify in pretty much any of my videos. Oops, but she's there. Um, and then, so we'll go back to Flynn here, his last page. His pages don't fit because they're really big. 
But uh, this is the original storyboard for Flynn. Storyboard and character design. A little about Flynn. This was from a really long time ago. So those are all my characters. Um, none of the stuff from this year is in here. This is all just 2016, 17, and 18. I have a lot of characters. And some of them aren't even in here because I didn't like them. So like some of the Inktober characters are not in here. Um, these are just the ones that are more developed than, I guess, some of the other ones. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've, if you've stayed here, um, my little Wendigo up here is pretty... I really like him. He's so cute. Um, so yeah, <laughs> these are all my OCs, all of my characters. I love sharing them with you. I'm sure I'll come up with more real soon, because that's just what I love to do. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you later.